sound of a time nearly forgotten. We're thrilled to be making computers here in the U.S. We're really the first that's done it in over a decade. Lenovo is part of a growing trend in the tech community, as companies such as Apple, Google, and Motorola are slowly bringing manufacturing jobs back to the U.S., a way to literally get closer to the consumer. The real benefit of this facility is the locality of it and being able to get it there quicker. We're importing components, uh, which is much cheaper than the fully built boxes, so we're saving there, we're paying a bit more in labor, Overall, there is still an incremental cost to manufacturing in the U.S. But higher labor wages and the cost of shipping goods from China has made manufacturing in China more expensive. Lenovo is the biggest PC maker in the world. Headquartered in Beijing, it employs over 35,000, 115 of which will now be assembling laptops, PCs, and servers in Whitsett, North Carolina. So when you say China made in the USA, you think what? We consider ourselves to be a global company, and this just happens to be one part of the globe. The desktop giant has made leaps and bounds since purchasing IBM's ThinkPad in 2005. Revenue has increased 10 times since. You are winning in PCs if you look at your latest quarterly results. But you know what the numbers say, that it's a market that people aren't interested in. They want tablets, they want smartphones. It is crucial for us to move in that direction. We're focused on winning in PCs, expanding into tablets and servers more aggressively, and then maybe eventually smartphones. Winning the PC market is key. They make up 87% of Lenovo's revenues. Also important, expanding the brand. It's not so easy, considering the company isn't a household name. Lenovo is not a consumer brand that folks say, I gotta have a Lenovo. Our brand has been a barrier for us historically because a lot of customers don't know us. Um, the good news is that our brand has no baggage. But the Lenovo brand is recognized back home in China, where the company ranks number two in the smartphone market. In the U.S., smartphones aren't even on the table yet. We have to continue to build our brand. We have to build our distribution network and ultimately our manufacturing capabilities to make that a reality. We didn't make this multi-million dollar investment uh, thinking that it was an experiment. We're committed and uh, we'd like to believe that this is only the beginning.